Remote control of DNB system amplifiers is a central part of the DNB workflow, especially in larger systems. Typical uses for remote control are configuring the system, checking the cabling and loudspeakers, controlling grouped functions for tuning and alignment, and monitoring a system during a show. All DNB system amplifiers use the OCA network protocol which is standardized as AES-70. For this to work, every amplifier must have an IP address and a remote ID. They are both configured on the network page. To get there, tap the network field on the home screen. Let's look at the remote ID first. Every amplifier on the system must have a unique one. Tap the Remote ID button to access the submenu. The remote ID is subdivided into two parts, the subnet and the device ID. Subnets range from 0 to 99, and each subnet can contain IDs from 1 to 63. To adjust these values, just tap the relevant field and use the encoder. Now, let's go back and change to the IP settings menu to look at the network configuration. In an IP network, every device must have a unique IP address in the right range. D&B system amplifiers support different modes for the assignment of IP addresses. When the IP mode is set to DHCP plus LL, the amplifier will first attempt to contact the DHCP server and ask for an IP address. If no DHCP server can be found on the network, the amplifier will revert to an automatically generated link local address. When set to DHCP plus FB, as in fallback, the manually configured IP address is used if no DHCP server can be found. When set to manual, it is exactly that. The amplifier uses the manually set parameters for IP address, subnet and gateway. Tap the respective fields to adjust them. Now let's go back to the network page. Here you can see all parameters at a glance, as well as the MAC address of the device and link status information.